Hey guys, welcome to another Wrestling Stories video. Now this is one I've been meaning to do for almost a year now and indeed just turn this into an actual series rather than one video about Rob Conway. But here we are I suppose. Now this one was one I learned about when googling one night the heaviest wrestlers that had ever been in the ring. I'm not really sure why. I don't really remember why I was on that topic, but I learned a lot of interesting things. It led to the creation of Trashfed after I watched Yokozuna near the end of his career in a JCW match. And it's led to a number of other interesting factoids. It was a pretty interesting read, to be honest, and a nice bit of wrestling history, I guess. But without further waffling, today we are talking about the bizarre story of Happy Humphrey and the early career of Harley Race. So Happy Humphrey was quite possibly the heaviest wrestler at one time once being recorded as weighing 900 pounds and this was a record that Yokozuna was trying to break when he died. In fact that's kind of why WWE released him because he was kind of like ballooning in weight and wasn't really looking after himself and they were concerned for his health. He didn't really want the help they let go of him and then after that he started trying to get bigger and bigger. He lost loads of weight at one point and then put it all back on and kept trying to get bigger and bigger and he was trying to break the record for being the heaviest wrestler in the world when he died and that's just really sad for Yoko Ozuna really isn't it I mean I guess it's what he wanted to do but he didn't even achieve it but this is not a video about Yoko Ozuna this is a video about Harley Race so Happy Humphrey debuted in 1953 when he wrestled a bear for 28 minutes okay he was so large that his promoters had to modify a 51 Pontiac, removing the seats and increasing the shocks on the car. Imagine that, a car that physically can't hold your weight with no one else in it but a driver. Like, you can fit five people in a car? Yeah, no, you can fit one Happy Humphrey in a car if you modify it. And on a fateful day in 1960, a 17-year-old Harley Race would become his new driver. Now, in addition to his job as Humphrey's driver, Harley would also wrestle Humphrey from now to time to time. And he earned $5 a day plus lodgings for driving Humphrey around, as well as $25 for every match he wrestled with Humphrey. But perhaps the challenging part, and don't ever let anyone say that Harley Race didn't do everything he had to do to make it in the wrestling industry, and uh, don't let anyone tell you he hasn't done everything in the wrestling industry. Happy Humphrey was too big for a conventional shower. So Harley Race is his job as his... It's not just being a driver really, is it? Had to lather Humphrey, a naked Humphrey just laid on the floor, with soap, scrub him with a mop, and then wash him down with a hose pipe. That just sounds like an uncomfortable situation for both men, doesn't it? Imagine being 17 years old and you're like, I'm fulfilling my dream. I'm hosing down this massive, overweight man. Doesn't sound like the start of your dream job, does it? But it just goes to show that Harley Race really did do everything he had to to get into wrestling. He did everything throughout his career. And let's face it, there's not many that are tougher than Harley Race. There's not many people that needed to be tougher than Harley Race either. And I guess that Humphrey was, he was well happy Humphrey, you know. He was probably a, a happy-go-lucky guy. He probably wasn't embarrassed about it. It was probably just something he had to deal with. Being, you know, living the life he wanted to lead. And I suppose the longer that you're hosing down the fat guy, the more it becomes like a running joke, a light-hearted thing between the two of you. But you have to kind of assume that there are more... pleasant ways to break into the wrestling business and with that this is the end of today's story if you enjoyed this video please check out the playlist it is in for more weird wrestling stories uh, they might be out by the time you're watching this video if you're watching this video when it first goes out unfortunately i currently only have the wild story of rob conway in the nwa which is a video i did last year when i was talking about how weird the people he'd wrestled in nwa were other than that, if you enjoyed it, please do like, comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching and goodbye.